This story coming out of Israel was probably one of the most devastating stories that I heard over the past couple of days. And I've been waiting to cover this because it just goes to show you that Israel needs to be stopped. Like this is gone uh, further and than I could have even imagined. This is absolutely ridiculous what they are doing to the Palestinian people. Now it appears that Israel is ordering Palestinians to leave Gaza City. Obviously, they have nowhere else to go. Now, this is supposed to be, I guess, the final push for them to go in and try to take out Hamas. As I've said this before multiple times, you know, taking out Hamas would mean taking out an ideology. It's not just about taking out like people that are a part of uh, that, that movement, the ideology still lives on. And I don't think that's something that can ever be removed, particularly since Israel has been committing this genocide against the Palestinian people. I do not think that this is something that the Palestinian people who are still alive are ever going to forget, you know? So there's that. Let's get into this clip here from Al Jazeera. This is very damning news. Israel telling Palestinian people that they have to leave Gaza city. Now, Israeli forces dropped leaflets ordering Palestinians in Gaza City to move south, saying the area remains a dangerous combat zone. Israeli snipers were targeting people who tried to leave. In central Gaza, a strike on a home near Nosairat refugee camp killed four Palestinians. The injured were taken to the already overwhelmed Al-Aqsa hospital in Deir al-Balah. At least 14 Palestinians have been killed across the Strip so far on Wednesday. And I want to add something here as well. There was also a, another school that was attacked that was hit uh, by Israel. And I can't show the video footage on here, obviously, but uh, there were kids that were playing, uh, well, football, we call it soccer, but there were kids playing football uh, outside, like right at the school that was supposed to be uh, a safe space. Of course, they're still hitting safe spaces. Uh, and that school was also hit direct hit all right let's just uh we're going to go over to our correspondent hamda salhout who joins us from amman in jordan because israel has banned al jazeera from reporting inside israel so hamda let me just clarify what's happened and then i'll ask you the question so we had these leaflets as you know dropped that started with to residents of gaza city um here are the safe zo uh, safe corridors and ended with Gaza City is a danger zone. Now media reports, Israeli media reports saying, well, not all of Gaza City was ordered to evacuate according to what they've understood from the Israeli military. What is the Israeli military saying then? Well, the Israeli military around 9 a.m. released a statement saying that they're continuing operations in northern Gaza, specifically in Gaza City, saying that they, quote, created what they called safe corridors for Palestinians to evacuate from there as they had what they also called, quote, targeted operations in northern Gaza. But the leaflets that were dropped to residents in the north clearly say to the residents of Gaza City in its entirety on the map, and it maps them out, telling them where to go, where these so-called safe passages and corridors are, heading south to Deir al-Balah. This is the second time a notice like this has been dropped on Gaza City. Previously, it was in October. But now we're hearing from Israeli military sources who are saying that this, in fact, was not an evacuation in order for all of Gaza City, but rather specific areas where the Israeli army is still operating and where they pause for a second, because I want to point something out here that I think could be missed. If the operation is only taking place in northern Gaza and Israel, the IDF, Netanyahu have continued to tell Western media that Hamas is using the Palestinian people as human shields. Well, we all know that the Palestinian people, where were they pushed, right? They're all in the southern part of Gaza. A lot of them in the Rafa area, right up against that uh, Egyptian border. So if it is true that Hamas is using the Palestinian people as shields, why would they be in the northern part of Gaza? 
hiding. They would be among the people, right? So let me tell you what I think is going on. I believe the very first report that I saw, which is where they told all the Palestinian people in Gaza that they had to leave. I think that there was a lot of, you know, anger towards that uh, call. And there may have been some pressure there towards the IDF. And I think that's why now Netanyahu's administration is trying to change that and say, oh, we're just talking about the people that are in the northern part of Gaza, just that area. That's all. No, because the very first report that I read about this, it was telling all the Palestinian people in Gaza that they had to leave, knowing these people have nowhere to go. This is the final stage of the ethnic cleansing in Gaza. And what they can say now is, well, we gave them the leaflets, we told them to leave, knowing they have nowhere to go. Or it is to push them, and I'll show you the map, push them into another area, which is even more, you know, a smaller area than where they are now. And that area is gonna be even more densely packed because it's more people pushed in there. And then all it would take is just a certain number of weapons to hit that area and they could knock most of them out. And that's the plan is what I believe. I believe that's what they want to do. They're trying to get those that are in other camps to basically consolidate into one tight area. So if they were to attack that area and they'll just say that Hamas was using those people as human shields, then that'll be their way of getting rid of all of them. That's what I really believe. I don't believe Israel is trying to do the right thing here by saying, oh, we're just talking about that one part of Gaza and that's why we're dropping off these leaflets to warn them. I don't believe that for one bit. Do want to conduct what they're calling targeted and precise operations. Now let's talk about what the interior ministry in Gaza is saying. They're saying that if anyone is in any sort of immediate danger to go to an area where perhaps is less dangerous, but they're stressing that there's still no safe place for Palestinians in Gaza. Time and time again, these Palestinians have been displaced with simply nowhere to go. The Israeli army continuously dropping these leaflets with several evacuation orders planned for them to go to designated safe areas that we have seen also repeatedly bombarded in the last nine months. So while all of the headlines have been saying that the Israeli army has issued an evacuation order for all of Gaza City, now these sources are coming out and saying it's actually just these small particular areas that the Israeli military is still going to operate in. But the leaflet, again, was quite clear, saying to all of the residents of Gaza City, in addition to that, at the end of it, it says that Gaza City is a dangerous combat zone and no one should be there anyway. So mixed messaging here from the Israeli army and sources that are coming out against that messaging entirely. I don't think it's a mixed message. I, I want to be very clear here. And let's just understand that Al Jazeera can, can't even report in Israel anymore because Israel pushed them out. That's why I believe Israel also killed as many journalists as they could because they wanted to prevent the source of information from getting out. But the reality is, I don't believe this was a mixed message. I believe this was intentional. And I, I would hope that Al Jazeera would believe that as well. There's no mixed message. This is just Israel trying to cover its ass because the first order that I read, it said all the Palestinians in Gaza had to evacuate Gaza. Now they're trying to come back and now they're trying to say we were just referring to the northern part of Gaza City where they're not supposed to be anyway. So do you guys see what's happening here? Now I want to show you the article because there's a map and I want to show you what it shows on this map. Cause this is just absolutely ridiculous. It says that Palestinians told to leave Gaza city as Israel steps up offensive. Let's go down here. The Israeli military told all Palestinian civilians to leave Gaza city and head south on Wednesday as it stepped up military offensive in the territory that has killed dozens of people over the past 48 hours. The evacuation order order carried out by dropping leaflets, urging all those in Gaza city to take two safe routes south to the area around the central town of uh, Deir al-Bala 
came after a series of deadly strikes over the past two days in other parts of Gaza. Now, remember, I just told you that there was another attack on a school. The kids were outside on the courtyard at the school playing football. And there was no warning to those kids, right? There was no leaflet that was dropped. It goes on to say on Tuesday, this is the school, an airstrike on the entrance of a school turned shelter in Southern Gaza killed at least 31 people, including eight children. Footage broadcast by Al Jazeera showed children playing football in the school's yard when a sudden boom shook the area, prompting shouts of a strike, a strike. The Israeli military said it was reviewing reports that civilians were harmed. It said the incident occurred when it struck with precise munition, a Hamas fighter who had taken part in the October 7 raid on Israel that precipitated uh, the Israeli assault on Gaza. So again, do we have any evidence of that? Because the number of times that Israel says that they've taken out like certain leaders, whether it's Hezbollah, whether it's Hamas, do they ever show any evidence that that was the case? I don't even see the US government ask them for any evidence to show that. The area hit was crowded at the time of the attack. See, this is what they do. They get them all together. Once they're bundled up in a, a crowd, that's when they strike because that way they can kill more people. The area was hit, uh, that was hit was crowded at the time of the attack. Wednesday's attack was the fourth on near schools, shelter, sheltering displaced Palestinians in four days. Israel has said that in every instance, the sites were targeted because they were being used as bases by Hamas fighters, police officers, or politicians. So again, do you guys see this? If the operation is taking place you know, in Northern Gaza, like this, this does not make any sense. Now I want to show you where these attacks have happened. We're going to look at this. The Holy Family School on Sunday, it says senior Hamas official and three others killed in a church run school, according to Gaza defense agency right there. So here's Gaza city. And there's where the Holy Family School was that red dot, dot there at the top. As we scroll down on Saturday, 16 were killed at the UNRWA school. Remember we talked about that. Okay. So again, watch this. Over here, Deir Abala is the expanded humanitarian area. This is the light yellow here. There's Khan Yunus below. And then there's also the IDF designated humanitarian area here, which is the dark yellow. And right here is Rafa. So Tuesday, it says at least 31 people were killed in a tent camp outside the school. What this map shows you is that Israel has, they've had strikes in the Southern part of Gaza, which is where they were supposed to be safe. Palestinians were supposed to be safe. So they struck the Southern part of Gaza there, tent camp outside the school, also, if we go up to the northern part of Gaza, they were also striking the UNRWA school, which was right here on Saturday, and then further up the Holy Family School right here in the northern part of Gaza. The reason why I wanted to show you this map is to prove to you that Israel is striking the whole thing, whether it's northern Gaza, whether it's central Gaza, whether it's southern Gaza, Israel has been hitting every area. I'm telling you this because it explains that there is no safe spot for the Palestinian civilians. Where are they supposed to go? And this is what I said before, what do you mean evacuate? So let's say they evacuate, they said Gaza City now. So let's say they evacuate whoever's left there, Gaza City, and they would obviously come into one of the humanitarian areas. So let's say they came here. Now you're talking about have an even more dense area because you're trying to push all these people into this small space. And I believe, this is my belief, I believe they are trying to push them all into one small space so they can do a couple of strikes and kill all of them. That's what I believe. Because the reality is the Egyptian border is right here next to Rafa. Egypt is not gonna let them in. They can't go out into the ocean. 
They can't go this way out, out of Gaza. This is Israel. And they can't go to Egypt. They are lit literally like boxed in. It's this is a mess. It goes on to say here further Israeli strikes in early hours of Wednesday morning killed at least 20 Palestinians. Associated Press reported that 12 people had been killed in the Nasserat refugee camp and eight at the home of uh, Der Abala, an area that is located within the humanitarian safe zone where Israel has told Palestinians to seek refuge. So let's go back up to that map. So here's Der Abala. So as you can see, this is in the pale yellow area, the expanded humanitarian zone. So once again, Israel is still striking in the refugee camps that are supposed to be safe, the humanitarian areas, the northern part of Gaza, the southern part of, part of Gaza, the schools, whether it's UNRWA school or not, they're striking everywhere. This is a full on scale ethnic cleansing. There is no safe spot in Gaza. And I'm tired. I want people to stop saying that. Say it with me. There is no safe spot in Gaza. They are trying to kill these people. If you saw the, the interview that I covered with Aaron Mate on Pierce Morgan, it was very clear that one of the guys that was on the panel, the rabbi, what did he say? He told you he was totally happy and fine with Israel annexing the West Bank. Hamas is not in the West Bank. So they just, they want, they want them gone. And some of the things that have been said, it's absolutely disgusting to hear that guy say, yeah, good. We can get them all out of, get rid of them, get rid of all of them. And then we get to select and choose which Arabs can live in Gaza. If that isn't full on supremacy, I don't know what it is. And more people need to call that out. I know a lot of times people are like, oh, it's just a debate on Pierce Morgan show. But if you listen to what people are saying on those debates, it's very important to hear. There is no safe space in Gaza but there is something that you can do because Netanyahu is scheduled to come to DC July 24th. And they're letting this guy add everything I've just shown you on the show. They're letting him come speak to Congress and ask for more money to continue killing people. This was never about Hamas. They've been killing Palestinians and imprisoning them and torturing them long before October 7th. Hamas was their convenient excuse. Then we hear the story that was reported by Haaretz, which is now admitting that Israel implemented the Hannibal Directive on October 7th, which would mean that they ordered the IDF to kill their own people to avoid capture, which is what some of the independent media journalists tried to tell people after October 7th, and they were called all types of names and everything but they turned out to be right. And once again, corporate media was wrong. July 24th, get on the bus to Washington, DC. When war criminal Benjamin Netanyahu comes to DC on July 24th, we will mobilize and issue a notice of a citizen's arrest. This is hosted by Answer Coalition. Answer coalitions doing the damn thing. Get on a bus to DC, surround the Capitol, arrest Netanyahu, July 24th, 11 a.m. They also have buses. Don't have a way to get there. They have buses. They'll probably have more cities too as we get closer to the date. Um, they're pretty good about this. You can get on a bus in Albany, Boston, Bronx, Brooklyn, Charlotte, Chicago, Cincinnati, Columbus, Ohio. Londonderry, New Hampshire. I was surprised to see Londonderry on here in New Hampshire. I was like, damn. Uh, Londonderry, New Hampshire, Manhattan, Mount Pelier and Brattleboro in Vermont, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Providence, Rhode Island, Queens, New York. Those are the locations listed for right now. So if you go to Answer Coalition's site, that's how you can sign up 
to get a bus ticket or to find or register for a bus. If you need a bus, you don't have to take the bus, but something has to be done here. This, this is just, this is a mess. And the majority of our representatives support it or voted for it. And he's coming here. There aren't enough words that I can really say anymore about how disgusting this is. And to see that all of our politicians that are bought and paid off to just shrug it off. The same people who want to talk to you about, we need to protect marginalized groups in this country. Those same people have no problem with oppressed people in Gaza being killed. Those same people, the same people who are trying to fear monger you about project 2025. And don't get me wrong, JB and I went over that earlier tonight on RBN. We went through project 2025. It's not good. It is bad, but it's also already been happening. If you go through all the policies, you'll see it's already been implemented. They've been doing this. They've been doing project 2025 for years. They just didn't call it that. They're trying to fear monger you about that. And the videos that are posted says it's going to target minority groups. They're going to come after people who are oppressed. But those same politicians are totally fine with Israel killing and oppressing and occupying people in Gaza and the West Bank. The politicians are bought. The politicians are paid for. And to be honest with you, the majority of them don't care about no damn human rights. They care about their career.